Hey guys, I noticed a, uh, doing my monthly audit that the backups are going really slow. And, um, well, it's not so much slow. They are succeeding, so that's the good news. But um, uh, I, uh, I'm just checking on this today, which is Saturday, and there's backups that um, are, we're using VM. And I'll just, just get into it now. Uh, the VM backups are, are uh, happening on a, weekly ba uh, daily basis but uh, day on a uh, daily basis it copies files and those files are not here the files are uh, incremental daily but then once a week it makes a large file so that's shown here that f almost 500 gigs uh, but daily it's just a is a small amount so that's that's expected behavior but this 500 gigs or so that's going to take it a couple hours to transfer uh, a couple hours maybe like you know i think i asked uh i did the calculation it's like you know an hour or so and uh but it's taking a dozen hours or so and that's uh not acceptable so i uh, digging in trying to find out like why is it going so slow and the uh, couple reasons one is it's concurrent and so here you can see it at, since 4 30 we've been having this backup go and another one since 10 30. so we have them concurrently they're still in operation so that's not good uh, and they usually don't need to take that long concurrently but what i identified is that on um, like hyper vo2 it shows um, here Let's see if I can move that over. Uh, uh, the backup on the local disk only took it 11 minutes. That's fantastic. But uh, on Hyper 3, by way of comparison, it's sitting here 10 hours into it and still spinning. So uh, there's a big difference between these two. So I'm digging in a little further. It's like, what's going on? Why is it so slow? Uh, I found that this, um, looking at the performance monitoring and looking at the disks, which you may have to run a command to get task manager to show the disk performance. And your disk E is sitting here at like 25 um, megabits per second. And coincidentally, if you go run a disk speed test, which I did before, uh, disk speed on the disk A here, or E, sorry, um, and the output is right here and it has a bunch of data. So the the, the key thing is to look at this. Well, what did it do when it tested the IOs and uh, how fast it could go here? And uh, looking at this in isolation is a bit a bit challenging. Um, what you want to do is compare it to like a different disk. So I, I compared it to um, even on the same machine, the C drive. So this is uh, the C drive. And on those same measures, it's getting IOs in the order of 4 million. Whereas this one's getting IOs in thousands. So, whoa, like hugely, vastly different. This disk E just has to suck. Uh, and I have a feeling it's some Turo or old thing. So uh, what I need you to pay attention to though is, you know, when this when this shows, I don't know how to see a histor history, but right now it's doing this backup and I just see this here. So. I'm doing a secondary backup of this file that gets produced, and it's trying to back it up at the same time as this being backed up too. There's no way that's going to be a good scenario. It's not going to have the right data. It's probably going to be corrupt. Uh, and it's reading at a different time frame, the, the bytes from it. So uh, by way of comparison, the, the I think we can see that the other disks are performing much better, and we need to get an up upgraded disk. Uh, when this happens, sometimes it may be because of the concurrency, but sometimes it's a slow disk, but I just need you to pay attention to it and uh, identify where we can improve in performance because we're going we don't want to find out at the time that we need to do a recovery, that the data is corrupted, not been backed up, whatever might be the reason. All right, thanks much. Uh, and you know what, the, uh, not that you should run it right now, but this disk speed backup, or a test I should say, is something I found online. I made a um, batch file here. Uh, you can find this on many of the disks um, on the Hyper-Vs, but I put it here just as um, it's in the temp folder, disk speed, and 
usually when it just says test, it's probably a local uh, file that was made, but I, after it makes the file, I rename it. Uh, and that's why some of these are here, because I've copied them between the servers. Uh, so this one on the C drive doesn't have any output, but the one on the E drive does. Let's see if the, the D drive has one. It doesn't, but uh, uh, so the, um, the batch file though is uh, just, uh, it's meant, so this, you have to copy all of these files to the disk that you want to test. Um, the disk speed, the disk speed test, and um, uh, I think those are just the two actually. Um, you may need, oh no, you need the dat file that creates this weird little tiny file that gets rewritten like a hundred thousand times or something. So, um, uh, oh no, it removes the file it says when it's done. Anyway, disk speed and then the, the uh, batch file, you copy those two and then run it on the local disk, double click that and it'll create a test file. Uh, and you can find this on most of the Hyper-Vs. So by way of comparison, you can see the Hyper-Vs. This is a Hyper-V01. It's kind of slow. It's only got 700K, uh, but our newer servers um, have, uh, you know, this has got 2.7 mil. I just showed this one, I think. That's got 4 million. Nice server. And then uh, this one that's got 5 million. So uh, a little bit better, all the way better. But um, those were the C disks drives on all of those. It's understood that the USB drive will be slower, but it shouldn't be like... Um, like what we're seeing there, thousands. It should be at least 100,000, I'd say. But uh, hopefully we can get that fixed.